Hi, I'm Joy and you're watching Awesome Movies. Today, we're spilling the tea on TV's most recognizable doctor. I just helped a little boy build some ears. <laughs> and action. With Grey's Anatomy's long and frankly beyond epic history, it's sometimes difficult to remember the show's humble beginnings. Thankfully, Ellen's able to provide a quick summary of her character's journey for anyone still wondering. Meredith got drunk. She slept with a hot guy. She almost died. She slept with a hot guy again. She gets drunk. She sleeps with a hot guy. Same hot guy, so, you know, she's not a tramp. And then she slept with the hot guy again. And then she married the hot guy. And then she got drunk. Of course, Mare's journey isn't always so easy or straightforward. There's so much going on for the surgeon that we're surprised she has time to sleep. However, just because Ellen Pompeo plays a certified badass doesn't mean that it's an easy gig. Over 17 seasons, there have been a few mistakes along the way. After all, it's tough to deliver a bunch of intense medical jargon flawlessly. Medullary skip, spot, tip, pot, artichoke dip, skin, sponge. That still wasn't good. Do you s <laughs> <laughs> Although, truthfully, it's not always just the medical jargon that leaves our girl stumps. What's the line? We have to admit, we love her dedication to the craft. Excuse me, acting. <laughs> and her ability to be a true professional when she does fluff a line. <laughs> of course, misremembering lines isn't the only reason for a director to yell cut. Sometimes things happen that are just beyond the actor's control. I can't get my own love life together, but I... <laughs> oh my God. What we love is that Ellen manages to keep positive despite mistakes. She seems like so much fun to work with, and we're more than a little envious of her co-stars. I just helped a little boy build some ears. <laughs> I just saw a heart transplant. <laughs> She's gonna build some ears. Sometimes it seems that Ellen gets so into playing her dark and twisty role that she struggles to play a happy Meredith. Keep a smile on your face to spout your spice. To spout your spice? What? Even though Ellen is totally believable as Meredith, there are a few times that she's had trouble properly channeling the character with hilarious results. <laughs> you suck at snoring. Seriously, guys, acting is hard, okay? So it's understandable that sometimes the concept of the fourth wall is totally annihilated. And change the channel. <laughs> Keep getting Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> At least in tough circumstances, Ellen can channel her colleagues to get through a rough patch. I'll pull Justin. And speaking of her colleagues, Ellen's chemistry with her co-stars is all natural. In fact, she's actually better friends with many of her fellow actors than their respective characters are on screen. Partners in crime. After nearly two decades of working with the same cast and crew, it's not surprising that Ellen Pompeo has developed some pretty amazing friendships with her colleagues. Not only does this give us major FOMO, but when Ellen and her pals get up to their behind the scenes shenanigans, it makes for comedy gold. I wish everybody would stop staring. No one's thinking at us. I really just need to be left alone. Just no pictures, please. Seriously, you'll find no complaints from us regarding the cast's love for breaking character. <laughs> don't do great, don't do great, please. Let me miss the Grey's Anatomy premiere next week. Baby, come on, keep pressing. <laughs> With such dedication to their craft, it's no wonder the show is so popular. But what's most impressive about Ellen's success is how she manages to be so humble about it. Camilla, it doesn't matter. I'm number one on the call sheet. We can do whatever we want. True. Of course, sometimes it takes a good friend to bring you back down to earth. Thankfully for Ellen, that friend is Jesse Williams. <laughs> And she's absolutely got his back, too. <laughs> and these two aren't just BFFs outside the studio. They never miss a chance to make each other laugh at work, either. It turns out she's got more than just his back. No fans? No We've asked for fans not to be allowed just on, on the premises. Just one. Could you just sign my torso? No, not again. We've discussed this. <laughs> my butt. Okay. At least we're not the only ones fangirling over Jesse Williams. Fangirls down. I repeat. Fangirls down. Ooh, the chief has spoken. 
dance it out. Ellen's co-stars unanimously named her the Grey's Anatomy cast member to be least like her character. However, there's one very important thing that Ellen has in common with Meredith, and that's a whole lot of love for a dance party. Mm, don't believe us? Well, there's a whole lot of proof. Seriously, Ellen never misses a chance to shake that booty. And if we had such great moves, we probably wouldn't either. However, it's not just dancing that gets Ellen in the zone. Sometimes preparing for a scene is far tougher and requires discipline and dedication. Of course, being a performer means more than just learning lines and pouting. You've got to be able to follow instructions and deliver a piece with passion. Although, it does also help if you have friends joining you. Six, seven, eight, eight. I'm gonna live forever! Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes dancing with your co-stars doesn't quite work out as planned. Especially if one of them has two left feet. Happy feet! Acting and dancing aren't the only skills listed on this lady's CV, however. Ellen Pompeo is genuinely multi-talented, so if dancing isn't your thing, there's always singing. Even if the subject matter is a little awkward. Vagina, the, the. Vagina. Sing it. The, the vagina. Vagina. It's a weird word. Okay, maybe that one came after too many tequila shots. Nevertheless, somebody better call Shonda Rhimes because we're definitely going to need to see some more musical episodes this season. Her best role is living her best life. Part of the appeal of Ellen Pompeo is that this actress is so honest. She's not afraid to speak her mind or her truth, and we love that about her, even if she's not sure that it's one of her best qualities. You know, I have quite a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm honest to a fault. In fact, Ellen Pompeo is remarkably honest and still can't believe how popular Grey's is after all this time. She's definitely not taking the show for granted. I can't believe people aren't sick of me yet. Uh, well, I... It's crazy. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's been an easy ride. At the start of her Grey's journey, Ellen was vocal about how bad the working environment was. I need a lot of However, after some determined changes, the people over at Shondaland managed to turn that around. And now, Miss Pompeo is living her best life. <laughs> and the future is looking just as bright. Her directing career started with a bang, and she's looking forward to branching out into producing too. And with such talent, it's easy to see why. And action. I mean, this is amazing. You're pregnant as the, at the same time as Beyonce. When is that ever going to happen again, Camilla? And while we wait to see what's next for Meredith, Ellen's given us a sneak peek into an epic new romance. Remember, you heard it here first. Hang on. Just... It's Grey's Anatomy. We make <laughs> out. We make out with that. My new love interest. <laughs> Apart from earning her the adoration of millions of fans, Ellen's time on Grey's has taught her some vital life lessons that we just had to share. Nobody's f***ing perfect! F*** off! <laughs> wait! 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 Rihanna! She's f***ing perfect! And while she's still in disbelief that the hit show is still so popular after such a long time, she's still grateful to fans. What? Are you kidding me? 350 episodes? How am I still alive? Who does that? Nobody does that. <sighs> Please watch, at least. But what about the competition? After all, Grey's isn't the only good medical show out there. Thankfully, Alan isn't worried. That's some bullshit, the good doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, she's spending her time focusing on what comes next. With the rest of the cast admitting that perhaps this isn't the last season of the show, after all, we can only imagine what's next for Meredith Grey. The hell do I do now? Well, the truth is a little scary. You make another episode. <laughs> More episodes? Hells yes. Sign us up and start.
Were you as surprised as we were to discover that Alan isn't as dark and twisty as Meredith? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos about your favorite shows.